Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Brian Argenti. We're looking live over Gettysburg right now. Got some clouds that are building in right now as well, but these are like high level clouds, high level cirrus clouds rather that are building in. And that's what's going to leave us mostly cloudy as we go through the night tonight. But overall, it's going to be a very quiet night. The flag isn't moving too much. Got a very light breeze building in as we go through the rest of the night. And today's almanac, we hit 54 degrees for our high. 38 degrees was our low last night was what is what we hit last night. 53 is our usual low for this time of year, so we're right around par in terms of our high temperatures. As we go through the rest of this evening, we'll be into the mid to upper 40s for our temperatures, mostly cloudy and mild. Again, mostly cloudy. We have that deck of cirrus that's just going to be overspreading our area. We'll continue to be mostly cloudy, but not as cold. Again, we'll be into the lower 40s. Again, we hit 38 last night into the upper 30s. Again, not as cold. Light wind from the west. Not going to be too bad of a night. It's going to be a calm night tonight. And then once we get into tomorrow afternoon, we'll have a sun and cloud mix. Breezy and milder, 62 to 66 degrees. But those, that breeze is going to kick back up 10 to 20 miles per hour from the west northwest. We're into the 40s now for the majority of us. 50 degrees if you're tuning in from Chambersburg. 52 now in Gettysburg. But we are dry across the area. Check out our the latest drought map that we've had. This is going to update this coming Thursday again. This is last Thursday update, but look at us. We are mo moderate drought now, abnormally dry for our northwestern parts of our of our area, but as we get to more of our southeastern area, especially look at South Jersey all the way down there, extreme drought conditions right now. We need the rain, but luckily we do see some more rain coming up in the forecast as we get into the middle of the week. Best chance is going to be Wednesday. Now, this is going to be Wednesday night or late Wednesday night going into Thursday. I, that, that's when this time period is. This won't be during the day. This is transitioning into Thursday morning, early Thursday morning, but for right now, we're dealing with some overspreading cirrus clouds now on our storm team live radar network. I overlaid the satellites. So you can see some of the, the cloud cover now spreading across the Commonwealth. But again, we're calm right now for for uh, for where we're at now. But as we go through the rest of the evening into tomorrow morning, we'll still see some clouds. We socked in with some clouds, uh, so those same high level clouds for tomorrow morning. But as we go into the day tomorrow, we break out for, into the sunshine. Sun's going to break out and you know, it'll give us a nice little smile from the sky. But then as this cold front starts to dip through, that's going to give us another buildup of some clouds as we get into Monday evening, but again here we got some more clouds are going to start building in as the storm system from the west starts pushing in by the time Tuesday evening Wednesday rolls around and to look at the upper level weather pattern. We're going to be mild for the start of this week coming up, but as we get into the middle of the week, a colder air mass comes in by Friday and that's going to stick around into this upcoming weekend. We'll be back into more seasonal conditions as we get into the beginning of next week. Now again to plan out the next 10 days again, we have a chance of them showers going in from Wednesday through Saturday. It's going to be blustery though with this storm system that's coming through. It's going to bring the winds up a little bit. We'll be into the upper 40s for our temperatures, but much more seasonable by the time we get to next Sunday this upcoming weekend.